Ever since we were kids, Wayne has had a mysterious control over me. I wasn't always a willing slave. That's why I'm wearing the gun. Wayne's career led him and his wife Eleanor to spend most of their lives in Asia. For 25 years, they lived half a world away. Meanwhile, I traveled the world as a TV news reporter. Stay tuned to ABC 22 News. Like too many busy families, we inadvertently but completely fell out of touch. Then a couple of years ago, in an incredible cosmic coincidence, we both decided at the same time to quit our long and arguably successful careers. We did it without the other knowing, but for the same reason, to rediscover the purpose and meaning of our lives. When we finally found out what happened, the forces that kept us apart all those years gave way to a new one, Wayne's fascination with Tibet. Soon the mysterious control he once had over me began pulling us together again, and deep into one of the least known and most challenging locations on Earth. In 2004, we decided to take a trip to uh, Tibet. And uh, at that time, it was only 10 days, and uh, we came to Lhasa, but also took a trip out to uh, Mount Everest. People have seen many travel shows, whether on Discovery Channel or the Travel Channel. Invariably, the, uh, the host of the show uh, uses many superlatives to describe uh, these places that they've been. Uh, but one thing when you come to Tibet and you see it, all, any and all superlatives that you can use for travel uh, apply to uh, this place without question. Whether it's largest, biggest, grandest, most beautiful, most untouched, pristine, the grandeur of Tibet is just unequaled. I decided to uh, come back uh, even on the first trip and I talked to my guide and we talked about uh, different places that we could go. After thinking about it and, and studying Tibet a little bit more, you know, I became most interested in coming to Kailash uh, because it, it is considered by these great religions of the world uh, to be the most sacred spot on the uh, face of the earth. Wayne thought it would be good to do a documentary on what may be the final days of a vanishing culture and also to personally explore and experience the hypnotic power Mount Kailash has over more than one-third of the people on Earth. Places like St. Peter's, Angkor, Mecca are all testimonies to man's cleverness, creativity, organization, and planning. But Kailash, being a place of simple, natural beauty, is really a direct testimony to God's hand in nature itself. And so we felt we needed to come here to come to a place of pilgrimage that was not a place of man's building, but one of, again, God's direct hand. People come from all over the world to make a pilgrimage to Mount Kailash. Because of my experience and the fact that I was unemployed and available, I was perfect for the job. Besides, I couldn't say no. He was Wayne.